Yeah, I don't know if anybody else who, who has a headset like that. I always thought I was kind of unique in it, and I got used to get told when we played DayZ that I sound like a stormtrooper and I scare the fucking puppies. No, um... I kind of liked that. I think, I think it was in Firefall, Sink. actually, that, uh... Sink. Unless you hung out in the Firefall Sink. channel when it was no. going on. Can I say as I did? So, I guess someone in the Firefall uh, channel had a military helmet as well. You know, the dumbest thing about Firefall is how broken the Rake Loose armor was. We gotta get it out. Oh my god. Don't talk around aesthetic, we have to open her now. In early beta, it was. You mean, you mean farting poison and just demolishing everything? Um, I used to solo the, you know, the, the World Raid bosses or whatever, I used to solo them using the Death Shot. The one where you pop a shot, uh, canister in your gun and pop a guy and knock off a quarter of their life. Huh. I guess I wasn't part of that part. Um, yeah, you know, that, that, that single shot ability that they get, it used to be a lot stronger than it already is, and it's still pretty powerful. So, Rake Loose used to be kind of stupid. Anyway, I gotta say that, like, on hard, it, uh, it isn't that much harder, uh, Ground Zeroes, I mean. But I'll try some of the side missions. They should get harder. Also, there was like portions of the camp that they keep her gun in! By the fire spike. And I think there was a lot more than that. Yeah, it's alright. Well, I was looking at someone getting smacked in the face. Somebody who pooped himself again? No. That would have left because I have the fucking mentality of a 14 year old. Ah, uh, okay. No stupid shit. Oh. Uh, Carabros, Car we need to figure out a time you're gonna be on. Uh, you know how we do the anime night sometimes? Yes. I'm gonna edit all of the footage together. We're just gonna do that instead of an anime one night. Works. Oh, and it's just gonna be the adventure. Oh, that would be fucking pretty sweet. That's probably also gonna be extraordinarily terrible. Just like, yeah, it's a B-side. I'm not gonna load it up as a like. Oh my god, you have to watch this. It's gonna be. You wanna hear what Battlefield, uh, Battlefield 4 goons sound like when they're drunk and bored? Uh, I'd have to get properly intoxicated. See, my problem is when I get intoxicated, I get louder, and I get more demanding. CQC hasn't been sober for a single episode yet. <laughs> yeah, but like, that's pretty much his stick. He just wants to be an key all the time. I've kind of noticed that. That would just make fake toilet sounds for the back of two days. Tower, this is Morpho 1. Arnold? Do you copy? Uh, Arnold's gonna be guest commentating, and uh, honestly, I, I told him to, uh, since the helicopter episode's so short, I was asking if he could just quote random Arnold Schwarzenegger movies for the uh, entire entirety of episode 6. Okay, so he's gonna, he's gonna say shit like, I let him go. Don't bother my friend. He's dead tired. Yeah, pretty much. Shit like that? Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about me with the farting noises or whatever? Because that's what I do. Aw, oh, John Baker. I'm upgrading my ship real soon. Because I've been trying to be recording shit more often, but. Computer's kind of a pile of shit right now. Yeah, I'm fortunate that I can pretty much probably LP any game I want made prior to 2012. And not have any issues. Anything after 2012, eh, get a little gray there. Ox, that's what I built the machine. And I no. only got, got ETX in my brain. 
one terabyte hard drive and the GTX 480. The 480 was great. The 480 was going to definitely give you back the most, but like I fucked up um, some saddle ports on my motherboard, so I don't actually get the full speed out of them, so I can't really record. That sucks. See, my problem is that the GTX 480 is actually still a good car. It was hell like a year ago, it was still on the top 10. Now it's like terrible, but. Um, actually, I just, when I bought it, it was in the top 6, and it was only like 200 bucks. Out of like price performance, you know. It was ridiculously good. Um, but, like, I thought about getting like a 760 or something. I have no idea. I've never searched for any of that shit. I have no fucking money for it. Yeah, they're starting to drop the price. Um. Okay. Let's see. Well, the thing is, like, I can play any any game I want. I can play on Max, and I have no issues with no. FPS. Like Battlefield 4, I can play everything as Ultra, and I have no problems with FPS. The the only difference between these cards is the Ooh. way they clock their shit at. Um, because uh, if you read like, because they have like three different versions of this card from EVGA. Yeah. And one just clocked at different speed. So technically, it's the same fucking card just running at different speeds. No oh shit, that's pretty tight. I don't know, the big, the big thing I need to do is upgrade from 8 gigabytes of memory to 16, because I do a lot of Photoshop shit, and 8 is killing me. I think I have... Give it back! This isn't right, that was ours! No, I remember when I bought it though, it was $54 for 8 gigs. Now it's like 90. Like, I really wish I'd gotten 16 like I originally wanted. Oh god, dude, I really wish I had ignored my buddy who was like, Oh, you'll never need 16 gigs, just get 8. And I was like, I can get 16 for $105. I think I want to get 16. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Photoshop just fucking crushes it. I mean, other than that, though, I don't... Eh, eh, Not yet. Yeah. No, no, that would be bad. Yeah, I'm I'm running on 8 gigs right now, but uh, the shit I upgraded to came with 16, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna double that to 32, because why the fuck not? I'm also gonna try to do um, more video editing and shit, and, and I do need that extra RAM. It just upsets the hell out of me. That I gotta take a look and see what actually what I bought because I think I can still buy it because I want to get the same sticks so I don't have to worry about one outperforming the other and just getting bottlenecked. You don't really have to worry about that with RAM. I always thought it worked at the slower speed at the two. Yeah, but like, you know, the RAM speed really doesn't matter that much. Fair enough. It's not gonna like do anything appreciable in games or Photoshop. I suppose not, actually. I'm gonna go pass out. Have a good one, guys. Later, there, Ned. Good night. Good night. Care yeah. yeah, dude, I'll I'll try and pop on more. Like, obviously, the next couple of days, I'm not gonna be around. But, like, uh, uh... Just talk to me on Steam, because you've got me there. Yeah, I just gotta remember that's your lay on on there. Yeah. yeah. Alright, yeah. see ya. Right. Later, buddy. Awesome. I fucking upgraded just before they started jacking up the price on the parts again. Your favorite song. Yeah, Fuck. Say, like, Nicola, I'd say you can just keep it, or actually, no, upgrade the video card is fine, executed. you can just move that to whatever new build you build. But their death Skylink served as a message out. to others. Yeah. That ours is a society well, like, right now, like, because I, I got a really bitchin' tower that I absolutely love. It's one of the half XM cases. Do you and too believe your I've got an 8150 uh, GeForce, F or, no, sorry, AMD FX 8150 in it. So it's a you know, pretty competent fucking processor still, it's an 8-core. Um, uh, AMD's 8-cores are fake 8-cores, but you could say the same for i7s. True. But this was one of the bulldozer processors, which actually did get very good price per performance. Uh, and it did actually outperform quite a few of the at least uh, Pentium cards. Of 
Yes, if it performs very well in general. Yeah. For its price or speed. Yeah. Speed. I well, I think I only paid like 160 bucks for this thing back in 2012. For that processor. Yeah. Which was pretty good because like the the closest thing I could get in a Pentium uh, capability wise was like an extra sixty dollars. Yeah, but but uh, i5. Sandy Bridges were like 200, so yeah, by far the better pick if you overclock it. Perhaps yeah. I've never been too yeah, big on overclocking. Yes. No, they haven't been for a while, but I, I have kind of had a thing for AMD processors for years. But that's just me. Yeah, I did, but you know, once the Sandy Bridge thing. Oh yeah, I, I guarantee, like the next processor I get will probably be a Pentium, another Intel chip. They got, the thing is, Intel hasn't even been able to top their own Sandy Bridge. You know, really. Uh, oh, I gotta mention that, yeah. We're waiting for Skylake, because that's the other thing that might actually be better. Yeah, I... I had a thousand dollars, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna upgrade right now. Yeah, I was thinking that, but, you know, with the Sandy Bridge, there's, like, just absolutely no reason to upgrade. Like, you know, Skylake or something like that, that's actually fast. Yeah, I'm on a i5 socket 155 or some shit, or was it the 150? One of because like I was trying, I was trying to find a motherboard to replace the one I had, I kind of fucked up, but the state they're just like no replacements, like it's. Kind of fuck for me at least. So I basically had to just fucking upgrade everything. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah. I don't know computers. Like I used to fucking know a shit ton about these goddamn things, but then it's just like I stopped because I didn't need to anymore because I was in the military. And it's just like whatever. I don't give a fuck. And now it's like, well, now I don't know what I need anymore because I don't know anything about any of the hardware. Well, you can really keep between the whole motherboard processor and the hobbies, besides the video card. Yeah, that's that's about the only thing. Yeah, that's the one thing that kind of sucks. Like I actually did a fairly decent budget build on this machine for like seven hundred bucks. Um, it is fucking it kicks ass. Like it's still it still really does well. That was yeah, that was budget back in back then, you know, normally budget's like 500 but I wanted a gaming rig, you know, so a budget gaming rig for 700 is pretty impressive. Right now, 500 is a budget gaming rig, but that's just because Intel is that super cheap Pentium anniversary. Yeah. You know, but that's, that's going to be back in the second Yeah, which will suck. But... Yes, and I thought about getting one, but at the same time, it's like I really have no reason to. You don't have an SSD to play Battlefield. Yes. Yes, I know it would help, but the thing is, the only thing I could actually think of it actually helping me in is like operating system, Battlefield Four, and that's it. Like every minor program you run to. Yeah, but like I mean, I never had a problem with the speed at which shit loads or operates. No, no, yeah, like, no, nothing is slow for you right now, I'm just saying, like, you, you'll notice the difference, and then it'll be real bad once you go back. That's oh, yeah, no, that, that I definitely get. It. Like, it's it's the same thing from going from, like, cable internet to DSL. Yeah, like, I had to install Battlefield, I, like, first I installed Battlefield on uh, my 3 gig channel hard drive. And loading the maps took forever. Like you guys would be fucking playing the match before I even got in. Yeah. And then I was like, "Fuck it." Yeah, I, I said, remember. "Fuck it." I put Crystal in my, I put in the SSD, and then I'm like, "The first one to be in there." Then. Yep, every time. What took two to three to four minutes takes twenty to thirty seconds. Which is really goddamn sweet. But also, like now, it doesn't really matter because you know, freaking. You have to have so many people to start the match anyway now. Yeah. So, you, like, even if you're yeah. keeping it in, you're not going to be as helped out, but you're still missing 
still. You, you still are, because if you've got. Yeah, if you got 15 people with that SSDs, you're already fucked anyway. It's harder to start. But. Yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, I don't know. Which is pretty nice. I've actually had really good luck with GX Story. I haven't had any impact. Whereas, for whatever reason, Fraps used to work fine, and then Fraps started fucking up like a son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's their new codec. Yeah. Grid anyway, then then MSI Afterburner came over, and that was fantastic because it was so much better. Perhaps. You and see, the only the, the only problem with doing that is it already pre pre renders it in H two hundred and fifty six or two hundred and sixty four or whatever the fuck the codec is. Yeah, the MP four uh, video file. It's it's the yeah the MP four codec, and the problem with that is if I shadow play and um, oh, yeah, yeah, what shadow play and ATI is a Yes, and the thing I don't like about that is when I go to re-render it, or and add like audio or whatever else, it's going to end up re-rendering it again. Oh, y yes, absolutely. The quality is not the highest you could get, but but still, you can record it at uh, 50. Cipher has been in hiding ever since right. his grand experiment. It's true, I could. It, it, no one's seen it in off. years. Also, like what I found with my all we hear are orders YouTube's, delivered by proxy. YouTube lowers the quality so much that like. Even recording a 50 and then re-rendering Except once you. Doesn't really matter. You met with him. Yeah, Face YouTube is pretty terrible, and I really wish they would stop fucking using such boss. a shit codec. Yeah, well, the thing I find about YouTube is it's not tuned Tell for games. Like, where he I can is. throw up a lot of stuff on YouTube, where is and Cypher? it encodes it at a perfectly where decent and pretty good zero? file size versus a good-looking, you know, I've balance. never known choice. Like, yeah. YouTube has tuned that thing perfectly, but where I was games, born. The language I speak. Like it is not I've never had that, the freedom so. to choose for myself. Because games just have so much more. But you, right on. now. Yes, and it just looks hideous because you get so many artifacting. Do as you will. Uh, I think it's a bit better now this that they support 60 frames per second, though. It is a lot better. Yeah. Only if you use shit house Chrome. Will you? Which is probably still better than fucking Firefox, but screw you, I like Firefox. Not for you. Well, I, um, it's, it's nice to have that option. The quality is slightly better. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, I, I have watched some videos done at, at 60 yeah. frames a second. And it, just looks nice. it does look nice. Yeah. And so, like the the big thing for me that made Shadow Play like worthwhile was, you know, before I used Afterburn, I used Action. Uh, I tried DX Story, but Action was better. But if I wanted to record at 60, it, it really did need it to. Whereas Shadow Play has. Yeah, and it really depends upon the game too, because like I, when I'm doing the Battle Zone videos, they all record at 60, no problem. Yeah. So the if you the 600, 700 series cards can record 1080p uh, at 60, and the 900 series cards can record, uh, up to 1440p at 60. Nice. Well, uh, 25, 60, my 670. My 670 can record at 60, so it's not it's not that you know difficult to get 60 frames a second from uh, a lower end card. No, 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 I mean the the hardware on the card that records stage 264 supports up to X res at 60. Don't you die on me, damn it! He be stopping. Intubate now. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, my card, which is a 670 right now, can do 60 at 1080. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, the... No response, hit him again! But, uh, but the Niner can see his cards in full, you know, Clear. 1440. At 60. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna get that. Uh, I don't have enough money for 1440p. What yeah. the fuck? Well, no worries anyway for mine was that. Although, I think if you run it, like, their new dynamics, you can press. Yeah, it does like put it up. Running at 1440p, even at 1080p, 
Yeah, it does, but it 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 makes shit like fucked up. You would like to know how long? Like the highest quality YouTube spot. I'm afraid it's been. Yeah. Because the higher res you go on YouTube, nine years. Yeah, but it just it just fucks with um um my monitor because it makes everything all blurry as shit and then I just can't see anything. I'm so much like oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. But only on one monitor. Right. Like my primary monitor has it, and then the secondary is like, nah, you you only get 1080. Like, oh okay. And then sometimes a, a game itself will be like, oh, you have that dynamic super res. Let's use that. I'm like, no, stop. What are you doing? Because I tab out of my games a lot to check on other shit, and then it just fucks it over a lot. And also, you cannot use Shadow Play in windowed mode, apparently. Well, you, know, you, you can. That's the great thing about Shadow Play. Just enable desktop recording. And it records the whole screen. But no For some reason, it, it doesn't record for me, at least. That's weird. Because I, I, I found really useful about Shadow Plays that I can just record the entire desktop for games that don't, you know, support 3D recording or aren't even 3D to begin with, like all those game games. Because, like, I've gone to, uh, uh, I went from full screen to borderless full screen, and then it was just like, no, nope, we're not recording anymore. Let me check that real quick. Because it'll show, it'll show the FPS counter. But not the, uh, we can, we can do the shadow play shit. Yeah. 